Welcome everyone to the finals of the 2017 X-Wing World Championship. I'm Zach. And I'm Steven, and we are ready to dive right into this game. Before we do, let's go ahead and check in with Justin and Nand, talk a little bit about why they're here and where they come from. Hello, uh, I'm Nand Torf. I'm from Belgium. I live in a town called Aarschot. As a day job, I'm a security guard. And uh, every Thursday I play X-Wing with my mate. I'm arguably the second oldest X-Wing player in the world. Okay. There's, a, there's another chap that is about 60 over years old. That would be Mr. Lee Kok Fong. Um, he's a man Lee from 186 Fathers. I'm a lawyer from Singapore. This is my hobby. It's a beautiful game. I watch uh, Nathan E.D. Uh, work on the World Champ. I was inspired by him. I tried his list and I decided to come this year. Uh, my only aim is to go into top 16. So I was, it was very stressful. Uh, but once I hit top 16, there wasn't any more stress. I was very calm because anything else right, is a bonus to me. Well, there you have it. The stage is set. We have arguably the second oldest X-Wing player in the world. <laughs> arguably. Against the defending world champion, Nand from Belgium. Belgium v Singapore. Scum v Rebel. Does it get more classic than this <laughs> it, in 2017? It probably doesn't. And uh, especially Justin being basically inspired by Nathan's uh, performance. Just watching Nathan play. Very cool how this community consistently is paying attention to itself, referencing itself. Uh, and you see how it actually is quite relevant. If you, if you could imagine, by the way, Zach, that somebody watched you in a Worlds game and then decided to come from Singapore to try to play at the level that you were playing, that's pretty cool. It's like, really there's nothing cooler than that. Unbelievable. Team. And Nathan, I mean, he, I can't imagine, he, he was one game out. You can imagine Justin playing Nathan Wouldn't here be would have cool? been quite an honor. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's really the power of these games and the internet. Well, let's dive into the actual list here. So we have a double jump master with some new names, same, uh, same story. And then we've got Miranda running a bit different at an end here. But rather than you and I speculate about this, as we often do, uh, let's just take it right to the players and get their thoughts on their lists. Here I played Dengaru, and on Reddit there were some complaints. I was net decking, so and this year I needed to prove myself. I was not net decking. I, I really wanted to prove myself. So I made uh, this list uh, Biggs, Chess Pava with M9G8, and then uh, Miranda Doni with uh, Auto Blaster Turret, Guidance Chips, Ray, Plasma Torpedoes, Cluster Missiles, Ion Bombs, Extra Munitions. I noticed that um, from the recent reg uh, regional dialogue of um, resurgence of bigs, I need to be able to overcome bigs. And I thought about using torpedo. And then I can, um, I can also handle ray. Um, I mean, that's the reason why I came up this list, to deal with the meta game. But uh, there are some problems. Um, triple, to tri triple U boat. But defender, triple defender, um, I, I lost nearly every game I played against triple defender. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, but it's too late to change. So I decide um, just uh, depend on pairing. Quite a risk here from Justin. Now, we had the last World Championship not even six months from this event due to them switching it to May. So the first time the World Championship was held in yeah, May. Yeah, so it was November and then it went to May. Yeah. And at that championship, PALP defenders, triple defenders, very popular. And Justin here saying that in testing, didn't win a single game against triple defenders. And even talking about in Swiss the, the day before, struggling against defenders. Meantime, Nand responding to Reddit criticism that said Speaking he was of the net power decking of the last internet, time. Yeah. And he comes in and says, well, I'll just build a Miranda list that's really crazy. So what about the strategies, basically? Uh, let, let's talk We're to these guys into this game, about yeah. what they're going to do to defeat the other player and walk away with the champion. When I knew I was playing double jump masters, my strategy was to yeah, to avoid his torpedoes. If he shoots th those two torpedoes on Miranda, she is gone before I even had one shot. So my tactic was to turn in with uh, Bix and Jess Pava and to run away with Miranda and then turn in on a certain point to uh, maybe get some shots, get some uh, plasma torpedo shots off. I think the more popular version would be uh this support heaver list, and also Nathan E.D., the Corrin Haunt um, uh, list. So, um, because they use bigs for protection, but my torpedo will uh, basically overcome this restriction. Then I will try to get a bump into bigs, right? Then I can shoot at a high value target, like uh, Miranda or Corrin Haunt. I think the matchup is in my favor. 
Yeah, but the pressure is on him, not me. I'm not the. I wasn't a world, world champ then. <laughs> so Justin here, <laughs> looking to just take Biggs out of the game with his torpedoes here, and his list is built to do this. And rightly recognizing that the pressure is on me, and he's the defending champion. Absolutely. I don't <laughs> play on house money. Yeah, here. I mean, he was just looking to make the top 16, and he made that several rounds ago, so what do you have to lose? And I think just the macro level, looking at these lists, Justin's list is geared to wipe a target like Biggs off the board very quickly, which is what you hear Nan saying, I have to not let Miranda just get taken off the board. And Biggs is pro like hopefully going to just do his job here, which is, is protect these other ships f with time for Nan to really do some damage to one of the jump masters. That's all you can ask for. I mean, in, in this first round of maneuvers, we already see these X-Wings starting to really get in here. I know, that's actually a much faster maneuver than I would have expected out of these ships. I kind of, I honestly, I kind of expected a little bit more, uh, you know, maybe just delaying a little bit, flying around. Uh, but these jump masters are going to be well in range to do whatever they want this turn, I imagine, and where Miranda goes to avoid that, I mean, you know, we're looking at this situation, if Miranda runs away, then of course she's not going to be shooting anything. That's right. And so how do, you do, how do you deal with that? One of the updates in the past year to X-Wing is the ability for ships, how he's turning to the right with Miranda. Well, that's how you do it, I For guess, the ability uh, to get around bigs by target locking other targets. So mm -hmm. technically before that you had to shoot at bigs if you could. And now, you know, if you target lock Jess here, or you target lock Miranda, you actually don't have to shoot at Biggs if you're using a missile, because you can't legally target him. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, so, so those torpedoes are really a good way of clearing out uh, different targets, so even I, in Biggs' face. I get the sense here that Nan's macro level strategy is, if the jump masters get in range, which they're going to probably do here, even here, they're going to be at range three, uh, it's going to be tempting for Justin to start firing missiles. Yeah. And so if Nan can soak some of these missiles into these X-Wing yeah. without losing the ships, and then Miranda comes in, they don't have as much firepower to just take her off the board anymore. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. So him moving up a little bit, I think is almost like kiting the, the boss in a game, right? Yeah, so if you yeah. want these jump masters to get the health off of the X-Wings and feel like they want to take those targets off the board. But you also don't want to just lose ships here and not do any damage to the jump masters, right? So there's always a trade-off. And we see these lists really good, getting these green maneuvers, and then every time executing a green maneuver, getting a target lock. The economy here in Justin's list, because he only has two jump masters, he can really load these things up. And man, I'm, I'm really uh, excited to watch how much free stuff he's getting every single turn. Yeah, it's really, the action economy is strong. You can see he's getting the free target lock with both ships on Jess. Uh oh So I think that's a smart move. He could have targeted Biggs with the, the first ship that moved there, Tell, but chose Jess instead. And you can see now Dingar isn't in range of Biggs. So now he's going to have focused fire. He can fire two missiles. He can easily take Jess off the board I right here. I see Jess potentially uh, leaving here. And here, and here we, we go. go. First We've got the first roll. We've got two focus and two hits. Spending the focus there. So we're going to have all four hits. We've got two dice uh, coming in. It's a, it's a munitions, so you don't get the range bonus from range three. All right. Well, Jess needs to roll some, some fire here because this could be really bad. And they're bad. checking there to see if that attack was obstructed. And two focus. Two focus. Probably, <laughs> probably take that one to the bank, right? Yeah, I think absolutely. You're going to... That's the max you can avoid with that yeah. focus token. Nan's going to take it. So and like I said it. here, the, the goal for Nan is survival. If he can survive this onslaught and not lose a ship, he gets to fire back. This next turn, he can maybe get a bump where you can't shoot Jess again with the same ship. Yeah. Or he can get past you and you, you have to choose to fire a missile at Miranda or to use your 360 arc to shoot at Jess. So survival is the name of the game. Boy, that is tough there too. And Plasma doing work, of course. Those shields are dissipated. Gone. Yep. Here we go. And some more hits here. We've got a couple of hits, and we'll right, see one how, out. We, how we get her guidance chip. And Dingar's expertise is going to hit the other one. So three hits and a crit. Et cetera. Need two? Gets ben two. gets two. Wow. That's a, that's a Christmas Day miracle. And now we have a crit. <laughs> this could be a double damage as well. Any, like, what do we get? We've got the integrated, though. Double damage. Double right, damage, He's going yeah. to have to fire that so M98. He has, has to punt that one away. Makes sense. All right, so that's fine, actually. So ultimately, took two damage, punted one away, so that's, only took one there. That's probably the best this could have gone. Um, and I think the question here is going to be, Nan needs to score probably three damage here. Just to kind of even out the exchange. Yeah, he needs to get some damage in because that would allow him to really... Effectively, once you can get one of these ships off the board it's going to be a much different game oh, for Justin. way, way better. So I think actually next round he could remove a ship if he can get it done here. Now, he, the only ship is Tell that he has two shots on, which is great positioning 
from Justin. So I think he's going to use both shots here on Tell, but Tell's tough to take down. He has that ability to stay around one extra attack. Of course, attack. the ability is tough, and you also don't want to go after Dingar because then you got that shot coming back in your face, which is not exactly what you're That is how for. you lose a ship, you know what I mean? Yes. <sighs> It is the truth. And Mir Miranda actually can effectively, I think, deal with Dingar in the long game. Mm -hmm. As long as she can... S he's a, such a maneuverable ship, it's difficult. But Well, there's a couple of focus and a All hit. Right. And that's going to get changed up, so and we have three hits big. returning. This could be big. He needs some blanks here. And hit all Just the blanks. misses. That is, he's already up three. So that's three damage right there, and that is exactly what Nand is looking for. It is tough, right. even the odds in the face of these torpedoes. And, man, if he could score another, like, two here... So well, he gets a hit and a crit. There's two. There's a hit and a crit. Oh, and that's man. Gonna two be blanks really would be solid. massive because this would be a crit on Tell. And oh, gets and a reroll re yeah. and hits again. Just so. his ability triggering. So two hits and a crit. Man. This, he, this it, is good odds here. I mean, it this is looks good. Okay. Anything but double evade. All right. He only gets one. So oh, we're going to lose a shield evade? and take a crit. Look at that. So this is a this is a pretty solid exchange. Here comes the crit. Structural damage. Reduce agility by one to minimum of zero. Okay. That actually could be very helpful. Uh, that, that is helpful, especially on a ship that's going to regen. That's absolutely correct. So, you know, actually, this exchange went probably as good as Nan could have. He's got to be feeling okay about hoped this. For he's got to be feeling okay about this. Justin, meantime, needed just a little bit more off of those torpedoes. Just a little bit more. Those twice hitting natural evades on on all those dice. Nan is looking okay. Yeah, and I mean, well, the odds the odds of that, right? He's got effectively six total health shields on on Jess. And he's rolling two agility each time. So as long as he can get one evade. And then he's got the integrated, of course. So you're always going to get one that's probably going to be yeah, canceling. Yeah, so if you, if you imagine four dice, four dice, canceling one each time, that's six. Astromeching one of the other ones, that's only five damage. So he shouldn't lose the ship to that. Well, let's talk about Miranda, shall we? Let's take it over to Nand. I'm quite curious. Uh, why is Miranda in the list, especially in the form that she's in? Miranda is made to kill the Protectorate Starfighter quite efficiently. At far range, 2-3, she can kill it with a plasma torpedo. When they boost in, she can shoot with the auto blaster turret, so actually she avoids boosting in and shoot the plasma torpedo at range 2. And then uh, next turn, try to bomb them, so that's why I built a list. I was, I expected a lot of Fen Rao's uh, on, 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 the, on the weekend. So. Finn Rao, a very popular ship in the uh, classic Atani Mine Link list. Yeah, and playing the meta there. Playing the meta, and I, I think that's a good call. Not, not many double jump masters expected, which is why I think Justin did particularly well. Looks like he's doing a bank here through the, through the rock, but Miranda here turning position behind the rock, which will be a little helpful on defense. Uh, Going to be able to fire a, a torpedo. Could come under some fire, though. No protection from bigs. Obviously, target locks with, with missiles are going to make it difficult to protect with bigs anyway. Yeah, and that's, it's tough to really know. Of course, those jump masters could end up a lot of places. Those big ships just get all over the board. And, you know, I, I wonder what also... And Miranda didn't have a lot of great options there after that first uh, maneuver. You know, like, you, you've got this big rock in the middle of the board. You don't really want to fly any farther down the board because then you're, again, out of range and not totally. getting guns on anything. Uh, so it kind of was where Nan had to end up, it seems like. Well, and I think, you know, going to this next round, if the jump masters, depending on where they're at, are facing... Oh, nice. Oh, we got a major explosion coming off that, that rock, asteroid. Because that rock, this could be bad. All right, looks like he doesn't get another uh, one. Just hits or maybe a blank. he does, does he? No, just hit the blank. Oh, here he Okay, yeah, I, yeah, thought yeah. He, I thought he hit. I was excited. <laughs> well, that a could second. go real wrong real quick. Well, and I think like from a macro level thing, on this next thing, if the jump masters aren't turning around on the next pass, then having Miranda near Biggs will be very beneficial. Absolutely. And so I could easily see Biggs bumping uh, Jess on this next maneuver, going to the next turn, and then Miranda turning towards Biggs to get that protection. Yeah, to start to really sink in there and play the game that ultimately Biggs wants to play. All right, Dingar doing a three. Yeah, uh, Dingar's coming in here. Coming in hot. And so that's going to be a bump, but he does execute a green maneuver, so he'll be able to get that uh, target that sweet lock. sweet target lock. Yeah. All right, so measuring it out, do we like and it? See now, I I would I don't know what uh, Nand is doing here, but if Nand is doing, if he did a one four with Biggs bump, one four with Jess bump, Dingar can't shoot at Jess, yeah. which means you only have one shot coming in at her. Yeah. Uh, then Tell would have to shoot at Biggs. Mm-hmm. If he's not shooting oh, a missile yeah, at see, Miranda. This is looking pretty okay. 
But even here, well, Marina's so got the, the double lock here. Yeah, too. I mean, this is a problem because both of these jump masters can shoot. But he's gonna have to divide the firepower. Let's see, man. Show me the money. Well, and the X the X wing's already moved. So here it is. See Roland what we get. Does, uh, oh man, torps and only hits two, which is rare. Man, this is this is just great for Nand. And hits nothing. A uh, blink and a focus. So that's not going to be and he's gonna much of anything. And he's going to spend the focus. He's going to spend the focus on the evade there. Uh, uh, that's hard. And Plasma's still doing work there, taking two shields for the for the trouble. That's right. I guess it would have been three shields if you don't spend the focus yeah. there. But that's still just a rough position to be in. And so, well, hey, that's not bad. Soaking one, that's fine. But we've got some more business on the way, right? And so now, looking at Dengar, how he's positioned, is this through a rock? Is it not through a rock when he's shooting at uh, Miranda here with this missile? And I think they're going to go with through a rock. You see ang Dengar's a little angled. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. You can, you can ultimately see how good Justin's list is getting those target locks in spite of uh, maneuvers and other things. And so there we go. We got him changed up. We've got two hits and a crit ultimately landed on that. And then Nand hits nothing. Doesn't look like just nothing. Just nothing. Shields so down. that's all shields down. Well, what's the plan for Miranda? Let's let's talk to Nand about that. Tell Tervura she had already uh, suffered uh, some damage. So when I turned in, I was thinking about yeah making a final shot with Miranda. So yeah, my strategy was to uh, shoot a plasma torpedo, regen a shield, and hopefully kill her. All right, so we're looking to get a shield back here, use a plasma torpedo, yeah. and then maybe make it out of the turn on this next turn. Yeah, Nian being pretty fatalistic there. Yeah, one final shot, right? Uh, uh, Miranda's all right. I mean, the power of these jump masters, right? Ooh, There's nice. two hits There's, in a crit. That's a good so launch. So he's down there. an attack die, though, because he's gained a shield. Yeah. So he's having to reroll here. Here we go. Gets it. And hits it. So, man, these are, these are good dice here. All right, and we get an evade. One evade. So otherwise, tell is this at tell? Tell's down to one after this. Wow, and there's a major hull breach happening too. Hull damage. That's not going to matter Face at all. Up. Not going to matter at all. But we could have already triggered Tell's regen, and then we're one hit away from, we're from game a, time. We're a bomb away. My we're goodness. A hit away, and I think that's the. Justin was owed an evade, though, you know. That's right. <laughs> We're looking at the dice. Well, and, you know, I think the trouble going into his next turn is these jump masters have the sloop to the left that isn't red. Um, so he can keep Miranda in arc if Miranda goes towards Biggs. Uh, maybe Miranda can bump if she goes the other direction, but then Dengar can really just pound in a missile, right? The key thing here seems to be, and I, I've seen many of these games play out, Get one of those jump masters off the board. Now the good thing is we've seen we've seen the onslaught already. We've already had that that alpha strike happen. We've seen the torpedoes come out, uh, and now it's just a more interesting game. Now Biggs has a much bigger role to play, and he's uninjured. So can Nan get his forces gathered together and really utilize that ability? I think that's what this is going to come down to. Looks like Biggs here going range one on Dengar. Dengar rolling nothing, but that is going to be some return fire, isn't it? That is going to return some heat. All right, so Dingar, never to be uh, defeated, is going oh, to man, fire back. Oh, man, expertise paying dividends. Expertise on three hits. Let's see what we get. And two, two evades. evades from Nan just doesn't want to lose the championship. And I, going back to what you were saying a minute ago, I think the race, on if you could imagine as like a damage curve in this game, getting that Jumpmaster off the board, tell off the board, to, like before you lose a ship is so important to getting ahead on that curve. The problem that I'm running into right now, Zach, is that it's two attacks away. It was almost one attack away, but now it's two attacks away. We've got one attack and then we got a region. So, I, I mean, it's going to take a lot of time. It's, it's difficult enough to get that many shots uh, to go through on any kind of a ship. So it's at least one turn away, maybe two turns away. Maybe two. And Just maybe if Tell gets out of dodge, maybe it never happens. And now this move is curious to me. So. Jess going 4K, using Pattern Elijah to get the focus before checking for stress. Biggs here also going 4K. I actually almost like, and he's doing that to protect Jess, but I almost like bumping Dingar, especially if Miranda is coming towards this fight. Yeah, because just to keep Biggs in position. To keep Biggs in position of Miranda, mm -hmm. which I think is a much higher value. Because if you get an extra turn, she can reach in another shield. That's true. She can take a shot at whoever That's you want true. to take a shot at. That's true. It is at. the old Miranda gambit. 
Let's see where Miranda's going. So I think a big part of this game, too, is the fact that Nan's whole list has to move before the nines on the other side of the Isn't board. Isn't that nuts? So with perfect information, these jump masters are very maneuverable. Dropping a bomb here. Here comes the bomb. Just in case. And you never I, know. You never know. You may as well. You know that you've got plenty. And this is, I mean, who knows? That jump master could just end up all sorts of places. Well, and I think, I don't know which which way is he turning. It's Control turning towards the board. Dengar. Yeah, all right. So turning towards Dengar. I think in an ideal world, Nand and Dengar, Nand bumps Dengar here with, with Mar Biggs. Miranda. Or with Miranda, yeah. So if, if Dengar bumps, one of two things is going to happen. Either he's going to turn and not bump at all. Uh, if he bumps, it's best because Dengar can't shoot at Miranda. Yeah, that's Which means key. it's really unlikely she's going to go away. But if he doesn't bump, he's either past her or right in front of her, facing the wrong direction, which is great for her. Yeah, let's look. So, Jump Masters now, you see some flying going on. Miranda takes a damage for flying through that rock. So both of these uh, pilots have had some trouble with the asteroids this game. Uh, meantime, we've got uh, two Jump Masters that have yet to go, and Miranda is pretty exposed here. Very exposed, but if she can get another attack, get in shield back, yeah, it's taking her yeah, time. Yeah. But how do you know what kind of a world do the jump masters end up? I could see, I could see uh, Dingar ending up somewhere around that pocket. So taking the three here, gonna get him a free target lock. Yeah, because it's it is green. He's green. He's got what is it? The K four that does that? I think it's the. K4 or the other one? K4 is remember. the free target line. That's right. Unhinged is the uh, other piece of that puzzle. The so green, th the other piece of the, the beautiful puzzle that Justin has put together here. That's right. And I think he's going to spend an action here to flip down the minus one agility or attempt to flip it down. I, I don't know if it's a roll or not. Yeah, he's just flipping it down. All right, there we go. So flipped it down. We're going to check it out. Yep. Just Look at sure. it. What? What's this? Who's that? Crits on deck. And I'm pretty... I'm Pretty sure you had to use the. All right, so there's the action. He's the action. So he got the free target lock and uses actual action to. I don't know what that focus is doing though. What are we? Maybe actually. Well, maybe maybe it just flipped down naturally. Oh, I didn't it see it. Was maybe fit. that structural damage yeah. one or something. All right, Dingar going for the three bank. Does it fit? If it fits, it ships. Okay, well that's not. Uh, that's not bad. Now the only thing. Now, ooh, that could be real bad. So actually. he's he's he's, not, he's with him one of that bomb, which is good news. That means I think he's gonna have to probably barrel roll. That or is just really take, good take news. the heat. And he's at range one of Miranda. But the problem here is, is that is Biggs in range? Of what? Of the jump master? He can shoot the jump master, but he's not he has to be at range one of whatever they're trying to shoot mm -hmm. at. Mm -hmm. So if he had bombed and stayed there with Biggs, he, right now, Biggs would have to be the target could've on worked. both ships. It could have worked. Nan, what do you think about that? <laughs> are uh, are you are you in agreement with us at this <laughs> point? Let us know. And it, I mean, it's hard to hard to call the right because at the same time, if Dingar had bumped Miranda here, then you have two shots with your X wings that don't get a fire back from uh, Dingar, and yeah, also yeah. Dingar can't shoot at Miranda, and also you just have a single shot from uh, Tel ch t to Miranda. So like that's also pretty good. So you're saying that at this level of X wing, there is not always an obvious decision to be made. There are trade-offs. There are definitely trade-offs. Risks to be managed. And I think in an ideal world there, that, that would have been a bump, and that would have been really big for Nand, but it wasn't. So now Dengar is going to barrel roll away, avoid the bomb, and the question mark is going to become, can the, I don't know what range we're going to be at here with Dengar to Miranda, but that shot plus the tell shot, can it get Miranda off the board? And if not... And if Dengar's at range one, that's real bad. That is really bad. That's real bad for Nand. Gets the free target lock, and uh, if he is at like range, one. Up range one. All right, so me, this is yeah. this is critical. Now he's gonna have the he has the rock between him and Tell, which is gonna be a little helpful. But okay. he's only he's only on five here. I'm rolling one agility. Let's see if, let's, see if we get it. Let's find out. Ouch. Looks like some dad rolls there. So that is three hits. One of them or four hits. One of them being a critical. With one agility on Miranda. And Nan, oh, just knows that this is a problem and, and hits blanks. the blink. This could be Miranda off the board with a double hit. That would be devastating. Direct hit. Let's see if we get it. Three and major On explosion. Hit, take another critical. Doesn't oh, and hit just it. misses wow. it. So there's the focus. But now, so at least, at least, I mean, I guess we can say Dingar will now probably have to shoot at, uh, or I'm sorry, we'll have to take a shot at Miranda. Otherwise, maybe could have been clear to take a shot at that X-Wing. I think that was Dingar. Was that Dingar first? Yeah, he went Dingar first. Hmm. Which is is curious. Probably not 
That's probably wrong, right? Because Dingar could have taken a shot at the X-Wing if uh, Miranda just so happens to... Well, Tal, Tal's not going to defeat dead. Miranda anyway. Impossible, right? Yeah, okay, the, so the, the two dice isn't going to... doesn't much matter. But, I mean, I still think shooting their first... Uh, it doesn't really matter. I guess we have decided our own... We yeah, figured it our out. own question and... Oh Double blank God. city. So Miranda, it's over. Miranda, Miranda is oh, gone. Oh, man, that hurts. Let's check in with Nan, shall we? I'm sure this was yeah, a, really, a moment. really tough moment. Let's take a look. Trying to... To live the game turn by turn, and to uh, yeah make the best out of it. Without Miranda, it's. Uh. <laughs> I I agree. Without Miranda, it is going to be tough. But he's also correct in saying you have to live turn by turn. X Wing is not over until all the ships are gone. He's going to fire some shots here at Dengar. Not a great oh, start. He's a crit there. That's something. Let's see, if we get some blanks. And nope. that's evaded. Yeah. Uh, if you can get a couple damage here on Dengar, he's got the focus token with Jess and a reroll. So not impossible. Tell's almost gone. So like you're in this game. Ooh, there you go. That's There's a good two hits start. And a crit. Two blanks would be a nice, nice return here. Yeah, we kind of need that. That would get that crit in there. And two of eight. Only taking one damage here. But the, the game's definitely not over. I think obviously there you have a chance for Miranda to live. She had two dice against two dice, hoping, hoping against hope to have her live. If she lives, she can gain a shield back. She can get an attack in. And gets another turn. Yeah, and then you've got that Miranda long play yeah, going on. That's that, the get out of town we, funky business. We have seen that many times. So the old get out of town funky business. That's right, classic. But at this point, definitely the winnow meter, as we always talk about, is heavily favoring Justin. But it's not over. I definitely don't think we're at that point in the game yet. I don't think you never count Nand out of a game. If I know anything about this kind of play, I know that Nand has got the eye of the tiger going on here. And Justin just playing this by the numbers, doing a great job of getting that good positioning, really avoiding the pitfalls, and getting Miranda off the board as intended. So not only that, but just two damage, two two health left. And with, so, the, with the bigs, the, I mean, it's looking good. So a lot a lot of times on the the rebel side of the equation, if bigs is your healthiest ship. Something, Something went has gone wrong. off. Yeah, yeah. This isn't exactly the plan, but it has a single roll, Zach. You know that. He has a what? He yeah, has he, a single yeah, roll. Yeah, he dies. He dies real good. <laughs> but I think Poor this guy. is what makes Justin's list so strong. Biggs is such a cornerstone of Rebel list in this meta, but his his list can just avoid it. He can either target the high priority target like he did with Miranda there. Yeah. Or he can just nuke Biggs immediately, and yep. I think that's that's a huge reason he is here. In the finals, and that I love call. I love the idea of like you know a triple defender list in top sixteen, top eight, could just be the end of Justin. But you, that's not how tournaments work, and you have to play. We've got a structural damage there, so he's gonna. Well, he's trying, he's to, he's trying to get rid of it. Yeah. yeah, he needs to hit. That's the one that he's got to actually and he hit, got it. and he got it. And well, that that's... would have been helpful for these X wings to take Tell off the board. That would have been really helpful. But you're totally right. Now the the other part of this is top sixteen, one imperial list. Mmm. Wow. And no defenders in that Imperial list. Ooh, so okay. the latest FAQ really took Imperials kind of down a whole new level. <laughs> and uh, it's really been rough. So I think it's a great call from Justin and Double Jump Masters after winning Worlds last year. Uh, obviously, Dingar and Manaru instead of Tell. Uh, back at it and really not as expected as, as, as it uh, happened as you to said, be. The ship that the FAQ cannot... Contained. That was my, once I saw this made the finals, it was just like, a ship so good, even the FAQ can't beat it. Such immense power uh, just sitting there on the board. Yeah, I mean, if And you, they've taken a couple swipes at it, right? They, like two or three? They have taken uh, swipes at the upgrades, they've taken swipes at the pilots, and uh, just not, I mean, it's, it's such a powerful ship. The dial's incredible. The action economy it gets is incredible. The 360, the health, the points you're paying for it, the slots, it's just crazy. It sounds like a pretty good ship there. It's pretty okay. All right, so here's a shot coming in. Two hits and two evades from Nan, so... That's a good no start. No worries. That's a real good start. Yeah. Now, we got to watch out for Dingar's ability here, too. I'm assuming that we're inside the firing arc. Eh, I don't... It's tough. I don't know if don't uh, know. Nand even has any shots. It's close. That is really close. I bet he's clipping that back corner. Well, it's got to be in that arc. Come on, now. I think he's got it. We said uh, yes. It looked like you said yes. Say yes to the dress. It looked good. Picking up some dice. Zach, that's a good sign. Yeah, we need some damage here, Nand. We need to even this thing out. And here they are. Dice happening. There they are. There's One a single crit. crit. Yeah, we need a little bit more than that from Yeah, Nand. now we need some blanky Because he had the focus, Oh, too. Blank City. Oh, well, there's Blinks. 
Man, See, that I've, still has a shield left, uh, so. Just one more hit would have been so significant. Dingar and then there's the Dingar return fire. Two. two, and the focus Gotta pays focus. off. All right, so that'll, that'll even it out. So we're, this, is, this is what I'm talking fine, about, though, right? It's fine. You just have some a couple positive ex exchanges. Justin here on six health. Seven if you can't tell second thing. That's really, it's actually a pretty close game, isn't it? So, like, we got some action going on here. This is straight up action. One turn of, it, it could go either way. It literally, on this turn, right, you can imagine, these X-Wings get two range one shots against Dingar. If Dingar can't wipe out one of them. See, that's my biggest problem is Dingar that can you wipe have out a punishing one, one Dingar who With expertise. is going to get that first shot. Yeah. Yeah, you know? I'm not saying you don't need a little bit of fortune. And then even potentially gets a second shot whenever he but gets shot. the trick, too, that shot is going to have to be at the four health bigs. That's true. So bigs with a focus, even if you can just cancel one, and he has the integrated astromech still, he has R4-D6 to make sure he doesn't take a bunch of damage. Yeah. So I would say just very reasonable. Now, these are the, this is the rebel flying that I'm used to seeing. I also just note in Jess Pava, three pilot skill. That's so funny. <laughs> so good. I don't know exactly what an X-Wing is. Yeah, and you look here now. Okay, now this is a, this seems like a bit of a gamble to me. I'm terrified of this maneuvering because it could go so wrong, right? Could it not? Um, I mean, the worst thing that could happen is Dingar does a one right turn. All right. And gets barrel rolls out of your arcs. And then you don't get any shots. Yeah, that would be bad. But uh, Dingar also has to be careful not to bump, right? Well, let's see. So this is this is a big moment for this game, where Dingar ultimately uh, put his maneuver dial is. Oh, that's gonna oh, be that's gonna, gonna be good that? for Justin. Did he clip well, no, that? No, he's, he's just measuring range here. But did he get it? Did he get in there? I think he's. Does he have range? The range. Yep, getting the target oh, lock. Wow. And I think this is the so. I, I think Justin's about a turn ahead. Yeah. That yeah, turn yeah. where Miranda d went down and Tell's not down, put him about a turn ahead. And so, oh, three bank. Okay, well, that's not awful. If he bumps, and he that's will. That's bump city, yeah. So now we have a potential bigs range one, forward eye attack on Dingar, and Jess still just hanging in there. Just hanging in, yeah. Now, but Dingar's still going to get to plenty of shots also back there on bigs, right? Bigs I, in the background there? Biggs the is the in the background. Yeah, yeah he's he is, the yeah. classic X-Wing there. But to me, for Nan to get in this game, he needs one turn, like, right here to go his way. Yeah. Take two two or three damage on Biggs, get two or three damage on Dengar, and all of a sudden... I think he needs a big crit. I think that's what he needs Oh, man, right he here. could get a crit chain even. I mean, you look at him. It, we're all shields down here, so this is an outright brawl. And we got the first shot here from Justin, though. Look at Range all these one. dice. Oh, two blanks. Only, okay, so only hits Gonna spin one. the target lock. Okay. So the yeah, action economy is ludicrous here. here. And all right. only one more hit. So changing the... Three hits. Up. So three hits. Two natural evade here would just be... I think Nan's used all of his natural evades this game. There's uh, one gets coming one. In. So going to take two damage. All right. That's fine. That's fine. So he's technically got three health left here with bigs. Yeah. And... Because of that astromech. Yeah, we, we chuck cool. the astromech. All right, re-roll in here. Spin the target like this. One would tell. That's really good news for Nand. And evades and it. Evade. Okay. All right, so this is exactly what we needed to happen. He still has his focus token. He does. So when he shoots, he can either use it on offense or he can use it to protect so himself So Biggs from needs to bring it to downtown right here. He needs to he needs to make this happen. This he's is got the a, moment. He's got a four die attack. Dingar has no tokens. Here we go, Biggs. This is what we need. This Biggs, is, the hero of the rebellion. Yeah, more than just soaking damage. Okay. Oh, man. It looks like at least two hits. Um, I think it's less than we wanted. And two and natural two evades. And two natural evades. Oh, and Justin says, no, thank you. But we do have a damage sensor array. No actions listed in your action bar. All right. That's something. That is, but that is a critical, it's, it's meaningful. Yeah, now the worst th thing that could happen here is this shot back just devastating on Biggs. And he gets oh, look at that expertise, expertise playing the game. Three hits. Work. Three hits. Gets at least one evade. evade. How much are we taking here? Show me the money. Two, Two evades. evades. All right. So we see one hit only going to come in here on Biggs. All right. So... So, oh, we the, took two. On defense, it happened how Nand needed it to happen, but didn't quite get the offense we were looking for. Another damage or two there would have been ace. That's just incredible. This doesn't. This is not now. Now it's really turning a little bit. Nand turning to the right. I. 
there's no good... This oh, is... he's talent rolling. I got it. Okay, yeah. He can check the stress after, so he's still going to get his action. He's hopefully going to either bump Dingar or keep Dingar in arc. And Dingar doesn't have a great turn. Like, his, um, he's blocking the um, S-loop here. All right, all right. This is next level stuff. And Nan ultimately has to start making bigger risk, bigger reward plays here. But I'll tell you what, I've seen plenty of half-court shots. Yeah, I have to. I have to, Zach. Is Nan the Steph Curry of X-Wing? <laughs> Maybe. Nah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past him. He's at the final table a couple of times in a row. You can't argue with uh, ability at that point. Nothing is out of reach. All right, and Big's just going to bank. Big's also playing. trying to block. Playing old school bigs Trying right to here. block. Yep. He's within range one of Jess, so you're going to have to shoot at bigs. Jess has the re-roll thanks to the range one bigs. Playing classic this X-Wing. This is pretty... Here. It's it's okay. This right. The Dingar move is actually the, like, moneymaker or not until going up three. All right. So, Justin coming in here with uh, Tell. So, getting into the action. Going to have... I think going to have the shot there for sure. Let's see. Dingar, this Dingar move is actually... Hypercritical. Let's see what happens with Dingar. All right. What's he going to do? Let's take it to Justin here. The last game when I know that he will do uh, either a Darren roll or 4K. Uh, so I did a one heart. If it's, it was a 4K, then, uh, then I will, uh, yeah, uh, I'm gone. The other alternative is to, is to move away. But um, I, I, I got, I think, damage sensor array, so I couldn't take action. So I have to just take a risk. I went for one heart. Because the, the positioning was very critical, that's why I asked the judge to take over the, the maneuver, so to be fair. All right, so passing the maneuver to the judge here, because the one turn to the left is going to bump. And the question is, that's at what angle? Because if Dingar can get Jess in primary arc and is bumping Biggs, Dingar gets the shot back at Jess, and also Biggs can't protect Jess. That is just wild. I don't know how to... How to think about all of this? <laughs> my brain, my brain is on fire. My brain, but like the decision tree there for for Justin, basically saying, you know, if this maneuver happens, if the K turn happened, I was in trouble. But otherwise, this looks good, and so I I chose this. And boy, there's just the decisions that have to be made, right? All there. right, laying the train tracks here to get Dingar in the right position, and the less Dingar turns, the better for Nand. Yeah, he really doesn't want to be in that arc. But even even just the bump means that he's going to get a range one out of his 360 arc at Jess without Biggs being able to protect Jess. I'm getting Frank in here. I know that hair anywhere. <laughs> hair Frank. And all right, so let's take a look at this final positioning once we get everything out of the way. And doing a green uh, right there in arc. Yeah, that, I mean that's totally an you arc. You know, I think here. I think the weird part is the one green turn on the big ship, giving a free target lock here. <laughs> Who gave that thing a green one turn? Frank <laughs> and Alex. <laughs> oh, there Range we go. one from Dingar. Range one from Dingar. Has the target lock going to reroll to keeping the focus of his expertise. And gets four. Need at least one here. Two, actually. Gets There's two, the two. Gets the two. Uh, but but she's matter. still dead. Yeah, it all four. Matter. That's a gone, Jess. And that is going to be... All but game. Zach, like, let's talk about that winometer, shall we? The winometer is now heavily in favor. Ninety nine percent, would you say? I I'd say ninety nine point nine 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 percent. Well, we're gonna we're gonna watch this one close out. I mean Target I think lock here would tell. It's pretty clear jump masters are, are doing well. There's two more. Uh, two more damage, but we got two evades. Biggs is staying alive. He's staying alive. We're also we're going to do a little post game with these uh, players once we get around to it, once this one finishes up. So stick around, and of course we've also got all sorts of things to talk about on the uh, on the product front, don't we? That's right. <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to X Wing, we'll watch this one close up. And here we we need to talk about X Wing subscriptions because they're, I was going to say that's phenomenal. the thing we actually got to talk about. We they're talk really about phenomenal. templates and tokens and asteroid debris and all that stuff all the time. Tell me about subscriptions. All right. Well, it's very simple, guys. You uh, you sign up for a subscription. Every time a new for wave X-wing. for X-wing, every time a new wave of X-wing comes out, uh, we charge you for whatever payment method you save uh, with us, and then we ship you those ships automatically. So you don't have to worry about pre-ordering or shortages, availability, none of that. Ordering way in advance, keeping up with stuff. We're able to send them out usually about a day before the official release date, so you get your ships on time, and uh, you just have your full collection taken care of. Yeah, so it's really nice. Or have they have release or day after release kind of a situation. So check Andy. those out. X-Wing subscriptions. That's what we're into right now.
X-Wing subscriptions. Yeah, I mean, just subscriptions, just making it as easy as possible to, to stay involved in these games and to, to stay locked in, because that was one of the things that we always hated about uh, even just the LCGs is like, you know, staying up to date with every new release, every pack that comes out, every new ship wave that comes out. Sometimes you just, you like miss some things, you miss information, you don't get pre-ordering in time, so we're trying to solve those problems. Meantime, here we go, the final shot for sure, there's four damage, Biggs can't even uh, evade that, no. not even possible. Well, he can, no, he can't, yeah, I was going to say, he, he has some weird stuff going there, there you have it. Huge congrats to Justin and Ann for making it this far, and Justin for winning his first title. Yeah, incredible stuff, great performance by these guys. Thank you guys for watching uh, this finals, we do appreciate the viewership and support. And we're just going to finish it off here with Justin and Nan, give their final thoughts, and we'll catch you on future videos. Thanks so much. I say it's like a dream. <laughs> I say um, it's like I'm still in my hotel uh, nearby. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm still sleeping. <laughs> then when I wake up, right? Then, oh, that's it. It's day two. <laughs> I've been leaving my wife and my two daughters uh, going for tournament. Right? They are, they are, my daughters aren't happy with, with that. And I'm glad they, they put up with my, this, uh, this um, hobby of me. To all the Singaporean friends who are cheering for me, to my friends here who are Lam and uh, Daryl who are supporting me, and also to the whole x Wing community and FFG for creating such a beautiful game. I would like to do a billion shout outs for every single person who, who supported me. So I was crowdfunded to, to defend my title. I failed, but I, I gave them a, a good show, I think. So a shout out to every person who chipped in dollars for me. And then a shout out to my family, to my wife, to my friends. They, uh, they are so supportive and uh, I, I couldn't have been here without them.